Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This speech is talking about our new work, which is used to explain a weakness of robustness in adversarial training. The normally trained deep neural networks are extremely unsmooth, therefore an imperceptible little noise may lead the model to deliver a wrong, wrong output. Uh, the adversarial training, abbreviated as AT, which involves the loss maximums from the neighborhood of training samples into the training, handles with such a problem. However, recently a type of intermediate layer attack uh, with, which yields different loss compared to AT shows the weakness of AT. For example, AT performs poorly in intermediate layer attacks. And therefore, in order to handle with this mystery, we have three questions about the sampling procedure in AT. The first one is if the output layer perturbations in the adversarial training are enough. And the second one is if there exists some distributions of the log messy maximums that not be exploited by the adversarial training. And the last one is how to identify the trained distribution. And we start with considering two concepts. First, what is the intermediate uh, layer features when facing adversarial samples? And second is the gradient of cross entropy loss at the intermediate layer feature space. If they are close enough, we can see that AT tends to find perturbations strongly increase uh, cross entropy loss, but maybe the other loss functions. Uh, we find that uh, the cosine between two mentioned concepts are always positive, due to that uh, most vectors in high dimension are orthogonal. Therefore, the answer is yes. Okay, we can intuitively accuse the weakness of AT to that there exists a distribution of maximums of the other loss functions cannot be sampled sufficiently. The next question is: Is there exists a distribution adversarial training cannot approach, and how to identify a train distribution by using clean test set samples and seeking into the middle layer representations? We found that. For trained distribution, deep neural networks improve the defined clustering accuracy as presented in definition one uh, of each layer during training, and the clustering accuracy increases along with the depth of the layer. And the main, uh, and the main result of us is we theoretically find that this clustering manner is a solution of the existing information bottleneck function. Uh, by constructing a clustering related loss function, we prove that the clustering related function is lower than information bottleneck function anywhere and has only one clustering solution. Therefore, we believe uh, this type of clustering related loss is more approaching and explainable to the real training procedure. And that's how we explain the manner of the training of DNA. By, con by, by contrasting the clustering accuracy between intermediate layer attack and output layer attacks, we find that the adversarial training cannot train intermediate layer attacks as sufficiently as out output layer attacks. Therefore, maximums exploited by intermediate layer attacks may not be samples uh, may not be sampled sufficiently by AT. And therefore, we modify the standard of the, uh, adversarial training. We find that uh, the most the most unclustered best samples from near out, and then that, that is to say, correcting all potential adversarial samples from near to far and involve them into training. We achieve SOTA on intermediate layer attacks and the comparable result on output layer attacks.